Hi there, my name's Eliza, I'm a youth worker for CAMS in Tamworth and today I want to spend a little bit of time thinking with you about how we can improve our self-esteem, especially when we might be struggling either with our physical or mental health. Now when we talk about self-esteem, we're talking about the way that we think about ourselves, both in our appearance, perhaps in the way that we dress, the way that we look, but also in our personalities, the way that we think and handle situations around us, the way that we talk to others and the way that we behave in general. Now when we talk about self-esteem, we're talking about the way that we think about ourselves, both in our appearance, perhaps in the way that we dress, the way that we look, but also in our personalities, the way that we think and handle situations around us, the way that we talk to others and the way that we behave in general. And self-esteem is something that we all are going to struggle with at inevitably some point in our lives, if not multiple times, because when you think about it, we're constantly changing, evolving who we are, figuring out our personalities, the kind of person we want to be, um, and that doesn't stop when you hit adulthood for the record, it's going to keep going. And so we might find that we have times where we are not a massive fan of who we are and we might have other times where we're really content and happy with that. And I don't think self-esteem is something that's an all or nothing thing either. You love yourself completely or you hate everything about you. I think a healthy self-esteem is having a bit of both, knowing that you love some parts of yourself and the bits that you're not a fan of, you're working on changing or if you can't change them, you're working on figuring out how to accept yourself a little bit more each day. Now this idea of being able to love and accept ourselves daily is especially important if you're someone who is struggling either with your physical and or mental health because when we're poorly we often get quite critical of ourselves and it can bring up a lot of negative feelings about who we are, uh, especially perhaps if you're getting frustrated at what you used to be able to do and you're finding at the moment you're not able to do it, uh, perhaps you've just received a diagnosis and again that's throwing up a lot of negative feelings about something that you didn't expect to have and you're having to learn to come to terms with that and perhaps the change that you're having to make as a result of it. Either way, whilst having all these thoughts and feelings is completely valid and you're allowed to have them, let's think about some ways that we can just help boost your self-esteem and help you love yourself just that little bit more each day. Okay, so my first piece of advice is surround yourself with positive influences. Now, that can be your friends, your family, your teachers, you know, the people that are going to congratulate you when you do well and cheer you on when perhaps you don't. Uh, That can also be social media and following people that are going to fill you up with positive thinking, positive thoughts and well-being. Um, But also having stuff like positive quotes around your room, you know, having a bit of a mantra to yourself of knowing that you can do this, you can work through things to love yourself can also be super helpful. My second piece of advice is do the things that make you happy and I know this is really an obvious piece of advice but uh, when we do things that make us happy whether that's a hobby an interest uh, watching your favorite tv show uh, watching your favorite film hanging with your friends actually that gives us a boost of confidence it gives us a boost of self-esteem it makes us feel good and that is definitely going to contribute to you loving yourself just that little bit more my third piece of advice would be to try and help others whether that's volunteering at your local charity shop or bringing someone a chocolate bar, letting them know that you're thinking about them, helping someone with their homework, it can be anything. But this idea of actually when we help others, we inherently help ourselves because it leaves us with that sense of satisfaction, knowing that we've done some good in the world. And my last piece of advice is write yourself a list of all the things that you like about yourself. You know, this isn't just about your uh, appearance or the way that you dress, but it's also going to be about your personality, what you're good at, what you thrive in, you know, and get your friends, your family, your teachers to help you with this, you know, write it as detailed as possible so that when you are feeling down, when you're not sure that you can think of anything that's good about you, you can go back to that list and you can read it and remind yourself that you are more than the negative thoughts that you have about yourself. So to wrap up, it is completely normal to have times when you're not a massive fan of who you are, where your self-esteem kind of takes a bit of a dip, but we have to find out ways that we can love and value ourselves even in those moments when things maybe aren't going the way that we thought they would. And when that happens, make sure you reach out to those around you for support, for guidance, but also for that encouragement that you might need. And as always, there will be some helpful links in the description box below around different ways that you can also build your self-esteem. So, hey, thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope it's been useful and I'll speak to you soon.